go now. Why, is Jimmy leaving his paper back in a hurry or something? No. It's just that I don't like parks and too many people around. Come on. Oh, he's probably out of town by now. But you're not sure of that. Look, I mean, look at you. I mean, even if he was in town, he wouldn't recognize you. You look so different. What was that? It was just a car backfire. Relax, Lou, all right? Relax. Sit down. I promise you, I wouldn't let anything happen to you. I know. It's, it's just that when I think of Augie, it, it just makes me shake. Was it really that rough? You've got no idea. Well, I mean, that's what I'm asking. Okay. Tell me what happened now. You and your friend, uh, was her name Jody? Jody. Yeah, Jody, okay. Augie took you and Jody over to Han's house, right? That's right. All right. You know, once you got to Han's house, what happened? It was real creepy. Is that when they started getting rough with you? No, not at first. But it was real obvious what they had in mind. Augie sort of shoved us into the apartment, and Han was there waiting. Oh, girl, don't be shy. Now, don't say I never got you a Christmas present. Augie, Christmas was over a month ago. Take a look at these two and tell me it wasn't worth the wait. Well, that remains to be seen. Good evening, ladies. Well, can I pick them or what? You, come on, Wilma did all the work. She always comes through. A real pro. Why don't you come over here a minute? Let me get a better look at you. Ooh, I like it. What's the matter with you, darling? Huh? You don't like me? You're gonna have to learn not to be so picky. Yeah, well, you're pretty hard to take, you know. Nobody asked you. Yeah, so much for all the sweet talk. <laughs> come on. Hey, let's be friends. The night's still young. So is the company. What do you say we all have a little party, huh? Well, huh? what kind of party? <laughs> Come on, let's go sit down. Now do you see why I'm scared of them? Yeah. But there's still something you haven't told me. Like what? All right. You and Jody went to Han's apartment, okay? Yeah, right? All right, all right, all right. I believe you. Now, just, just hold on. Now, where did you meet Augie in the first place? Right here on Port Charles. Uh, he picked us up at the bus station. Are you sure of that? Look, I, I, I'm telling you the truth. If you don't believe me, we can just forget about it right I, now. I didn't say I didn't believe you, all right? Calm down a little bit. Relax. All right, you and Jody went to Han's apartment. What happened after that? Well, they, they sent us into the bedroom. And then that's when we tried to escape, while, while Han and Augie were talking in the other room. Did you hear what they're saying from the bedroom? No, no, like I told you, we were trying to escape. So we went into the kitchen without them seeing us. And that's when we heard them talk about burning down the clinic. Then what happened? Lou, then what? And that's when the awful part happened. They caught us in, in the kitchen. And, and they, they grabbed Joe's purse. Nothing, I didn't hear nothing, I swear! I'm teaching you to listen to other people's conversations. Oh, God, leave him alone! Shut up, you mess! What's going on? I'm going to tell you about it. Just a minute. No, no, no! No! Here, stand up. Stand up. Pick up a couple. Holly. Holly, is something wrong? You haven't heard a word I've said. So, what? Are you in a state of shock? You have a very strange expression on your face. Uh, I'm sorry. If you could just uh, be quiet a minute. Why? Uh, I just want to listen, okay? Uh, well, I really envy you, Madeline. I mean, just to be accredited to the Manager Institute is quite a distinction. It is. It's a great satisfaction, I can tell you that. I've been working on a vitamin deficiency program. 
We're, we're seeing marvelous progress. In the B group alone, we're already seeing exciting developments. Hmm. For the treatment of nervous conditions? Not only the treatment of existing syndromes, we're into therapeutic prevention as well. I'm doing a paper right now on niacin in the B-free complex. I cannot wait to read it. Holly, may I say something? But it's only in the I'm I'm sorry. Go ahead. I thought we were supposed to be having a celebration here and make a decision about our trip. Oh, oh, we did. We we're pretty much set, aren't we? Okay. Guadalupe, here we come. You bet. Now, do you mind if I uh, cut the short a little bit? Oh, come on. We didn't even order dessert yet. No, no, I know, but um, this this I really can't wait. I have to speak to Robert. And you know what we have to do? I'm going to take you to the police commissioner. No, no, I can't. Now, will you listen to what I'm saying here, all right? He's a friend of mine, and I know he wants to help you. Look, I don't need any help. Just leave me alone. Come on, I know what's going on. I'm not stupid, kid, all right? You're a runaway. But what if I am? I'm, I mean, what about your parents? Did you ever think about what's going on with your parents? How worried they must be. Think of your mom. She must be going out of her skull. What about your dad? Don't you ever think of your dad? I don't ever want to think about my dad, ever. Do you understand? Don't you ever mention him again and let go of me. What? Well, you know, you try to help these kids out and they get all excited about it. I'm taking you down to the police commissioner. Hey, look. Can't you get it through your head? I don't want any help. I think you have problems like yourself, right? They have trouble, OK? They keep it all bottled up inside, all right? Who says I've got problems? You don't have problems? Well, if I do, it's none of your business. What are you afraid of? Oh, you mean besides Augie? Besides the fact that I have no real place to live, nobody to turn to. Not to mention the fact I have to worry about all the questions you keep on asking me. You got me to turn to. You know why I'm here? You're here to make my life miserable. Damn it, kid, all I'm trying to do is help you out. Can't you see that? Why? Because I care about you. That's what I'm asking you. Why do you care about me? Why do you give a damn about my problems? You know, at times like this, I really wonder why I give a damn about your lousy problems. See, you don't even know why. You're the one who needs help. I don't need no help. You know what I need? I want to know why you won't go to the police commissioner. I want to know the whole story right now. I'm going to get very mad at you, young lady. Go ahead. Get mad. I don't care. I don't care anymore. Why don't you just beat me up? You, Augie, does it matter? Why don't you take me to the wood pile and just take it to me if you want to? Wait, wait. What are you talking about? You're all the same. Just like my old man. Take me out. Give me a good whip and just so you'll feel better. It don't matter that I hurt all over. And I'm cut and I'm bleeding. Who are you supposed to turn to when that happens? You're the guy with all the answers, aren't you? You tell me. You tell me. Oh, hell. What am I even talking to you for? Because you need me. Can't you see that? You need me, kid. I don't need you. Don't you, you do. understand? I don't need you. I don't need anybody. Just leave me alone. You need... Hey, hey. Hold on a minute. Can't you see the signs? It says no littering. Yeah, but I was in a hurry, okay? You'll be in a hurry down to the precinct if you don't clean your mess up. Look, this... I such... said now. Now, let's get it cleaned up. There's an ash can right over there. Go on, move it. Hey. Hey, have you seen your girlfriend? Yeah, why? Because I'm going to strangle her when I get my hands on her. I sent her to get me some drafting paper a few hours ago, and she hasn't been back. Is this what you're talking about? Thanks. She asked you to get it for me? Yeah, something like that. Look, look Jimmy, when uh, she comes back, uh, I'll take it out on her too much, OK? She's had kind of a crisis. Yeah, well, we all do. I mean, uh, I haven't had the drafting paper. I'm going to have to be working here half the night. I know, I know. We're sorry about that. It's just that um, she's had some problems, OK? So just so, so lay off her, all right? Like what? Why? 
Her old man used to beat her up all the time. She's afraid of people and stuff. That's rough. Yeah, I think it is. Okay, I'm not gonna come down on her. But you tell her the time is money, and she's costing me. All right, thanks. Yes, darling, this is Tiffany Hill. May I speak to uh, Senator Drake, please? Oh, I see. Um, well, why don't you just tell him who's on the phone, and I'm sure he'll interrupt his committee meeting. Oh, thank you. You're an angel. Martin! Tiffany, what a pleasant surprise. How are you? Oh, I'm never better, darling. And I'm hoping I'm going to see you. You coming to Washington? No, actually, I'm going to New York. I will be arriving there tonight, uh, doing a few commercials for a few days. And I was hoping that you might could come up and see me. Why, that's the best idea I've heard in ages. What about um, lunch, Thursday? <gasps> Thursday sounds divine. Uh, you still have my hotel number? Of course. This is strictly a, a social occasion, or is there something I can do for you? Actually, it's something I'm going to do for you. Ah, that sounds intriguing. Oh, I tell you, I have an investment deal for you that I guarantee you're not going to be able to resist. <laughs> Probably not, if you're behind it. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful, darling. Then I'll see you Thursday. Oh, so do I. Goodbye. I've got an announcement, and I'm glad you're here. Well, how sweet. Should I be glad that you're here? That's right. This is my day of triumph. The mall project is all set to go. Set? Set, that's what, right. What do you I mean? got 20 million dollars raised and ready to move. You want to celebrate with me with some champagne? Oh, I would love to celebrate with you, Scotty, but we don't have any in the place. Wrong. I do. Right here, chilled, expensive. I'm prepared. I should say you are. Uh huh. So you see, I'm not a wanter. I'm one of the halves. Well, I'm very happy for you. Thank you. I must say, too, that it was, uh, it's quite a job, too. Oh, you found a good shortcut, did you? No, 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 no. I did it the old-fashioned way. You earned it? The hard way. Well, I'm sure I'd love to know how. But I'm sure it's confidential, so... No, I, I just presented my idea. Somebody was smart enough to accept it. You don't say. Yeah, I do say. And this time, everything is legitimate, Tiffany. I'm so proud of you, Scotty. Well, I'm just a little sorry for you, that's all. Sorry for me? Why? Well, it's too bad that you couldn't invest some money in it, because you would have made a bundle. Oh. Well, I guess it's just the old story. I was too late. How does that go, um, losers, weepers? Something like that. Yeah. Well, I guess if I'm going to be a weeper, I might as well celebrate in style. Open that champagne. There we go. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Excuse me. Yes. What? Oh, yes, he is. Uh, no, wait a minute, Tiffany. I don't want to talk to him. Just tell him that a Mr. Cutler called at 555-4721. All right, Heather. That was Heather. She said that she wants you to call Mr. Cutler at 555-4721. All right, thank you very much. Certainly. Mr. Cutler. Mr. Cutler. That's no problem. Call me any time. What? what? The deal fell through. Wait a minute. Do you have any idea what the finder's fee 
And $20 million is? That's $400,000. You're just telling me you let that slip right through your fingers? What? Now, wait a minute. The deal was 2%. 5%? You're asking for 5? You know what 5% is? That's a million dollars. I'm not paying you 5%. No way. Uh-uh. I can get that $20 million from somebody else. I don't need your money. I'm not going to be ripped off like this. Fine. Goodbye. I couldn't help but overhear that, Scotty. Oh, that's all right. Doesn't really matter. Oh, I'm so sorry here. Well, more champagne No, help. champagne is not going to help. The fact is, this whole project just went down the drain. Well, I just heard you say that you could get $20 million someplace else. Yeah, well, I can't. I was lying. I was bluffing. I haven't got a prayer. Unless... Unless what? Unless you know somebody that might want to invest. Well, you're in the thick of things out there in New York. Surely you know somebody that might have some money that wants to put into a good project like this. I wish I did. I'm just a poor working girl, Scotty. I, I wouldn't know anybody that would have $20 million. Oh, I only wish I did. Are you sure? Very. Oh, speaking of work, look at the time. I've got to pack my bag and go to New York. Oh, and if it, um, if it helps at all, Scotty. Good luck. Heather, you can come home now. Goodbye. Where on earth have you been? I've been going out of my way. You have been waiting for moi? Waiting? I've actually placed a hole in the carpet. Let me guess. I know. You thought I decided to go to, to Washington after all. No, no, that didn't even cross my mind. But where have you been? Headquarters have work to do. All right, well, what's the excitement? It's something to do with the trip, right? No, no, but I'm excited about that. We've decided where to go. Guadalupe. How do you know that? You're married to the police commissioner, who has infinite resources. All right, what's the flap about if it's not about your trip? Well, now that I think about it, it sounds a bit silly, but I overheard something at lunch. What? There was this doctor sitting at the next table, and she was talking about some big research deal, but guess where she came from? Topeka, Kansas. One of our four cities. You have to admit, it is a little strange to hear that name mentioned twice in a matter of hours. Hmm. Uh, did you by any chance happen to catch what the research was all about? Hmm? Only part. Something to do with vitamin B and nervous conditions. Does that make any sense? Uh-huh. Very, yeah. And she worked for the Manager Institute in Topeka. How on earth did you know that? What? Bobby! Robert, you're impossible! You knew all along what I was going to say and you were just <laughs> pulling my leg! No, 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 no. But it's not a bad idea. Which one? Left to the right, hey? Come on, take your pick. I'm easy. Come on, give me a go. Come on, left to the right. Come on, what do you want? <laughs> you mean Tiffany just calmly flew off to New York? I can't believe it. Well, you better believe it. You also better believe that she doesn't know anybody with any money. Maybe she's just saying she doesn't. She could have gone to New York to get the money after all. Who from? I don't know. Who's there? Maybe your agent. Agents? Agents don't make that kind of money. Twenty million dollars. Wait a minute. Maybe she didn't go to New York after all. I mean, she could have gone to Atlanta. What for? Well, does he know a Drake, of course. He has money, lots of it. He doesn't have twenty million dollars, Heather. Well, he might know somebody who does. Come on, let's just face it, all right? Nothing's happening here. This whole thing is a pipe dream that just went right up in smoke. All right, Scotty, but wait a minute. I still have one more idea. No, if you, if you mention the quarter means I'm going to punch you right in the mouth. They won't even give us the time of day, Heather. Okay, forget it. Forget the whole thing. Forget the waterfront for just a minute, if you can. All right, fine. It's forgotten. Scotty. What? Why don't we concentrate on what we have? Oh, yeah? What do we have? Well, for one thing, we have plenty. You and I are not in jail, and we're not murderers. Oh, that's a real plus. We have each other, Scotty. 
Fine. Let's uh, put it to music and we'll dance to it. That looks like it. Morning's the ABC way, where all your dreams come true on the love boat, where fighting is fun on the family feud. And on Ryan's Hope, Jack Benelli, a man in love with two women, Lee, the woman who's sharing his bed, and Mary, the dead woman who's haunting his life. You are scared to death. This woman's getting through to you, Jack. I love you. You know I haven't left you. Don't miss the haunting of Jack Benelli, a different kind of love story on Ryan's Hope, weekdays.